Hey guys, welcome uh, back for another day with uh, Luke. It's Tuesday. Uh, today we're going to be discussing the difference between ABS and ASA. Um, they're very similar materials. Uh, so let's get into it. I'll show you a couple videos of uh, the parts printing. We're going to print the same exact two parts. Um, same color, but different materials. So I'm going to just want to show you guys a couple differences between them. And then uh, I'll include a link in the YouTube video for, uh, for the spec sheets as well. All right. So as you can see, I have uh, ABS on this 450 uh, printing currently. Let's go over to the next 450. This is ASA blue. The other one was ABS blue. Um, so I kind of just wanted to showcase that I'm printing the parts at the same time. So I want to show you guys exactly how these parts come off the machine. So right now we're going to be taking these parts off the machine. First, we're going to take the ABS part out. And then we're going to go next over to the ASA part. Uh, as you can see on the 450, the trays pop off really quickly. Um, so it, it's a simple process to, to basically take the parts off of the 450. Uh, this is a Fortis 450 MC. Uh, I'm going to zoom in to kind of show you guys the, the material that we're using. Uh, as you can see, it is a touch screen, uh, very easy to use, great machine. As you can see here in the M2, it's uh, M30 blue, which is the ABS M30. Uh, let's go over to the next machine. Uh, touch screen again, that's ASA blue, as you can see. Uh, and we're going to take this part off and you'll see that it's just a simple, uh, you know, lift of that tray sheet and you're done with the parts. So let's go. So here I have the parts side by side. I'm going to leave them on the, on the build trays themselves. I just kind of want to showcase. So the ABS blue is the lighter blue. Um, kind of just want to showcase the finish uh, on the ABS. And then I'm going to also show you the finish on the ASA. So for some reason, the ASA always comes out a little bit smoother off of the machine. Um, both uh, materials are amazing. They're very close, um, you know, in, in mechanical properties. Uh, the main differences in ASA and ABS is that ASA is UV resistant. So if you have any applications that are outside and you, you need to test the parts outside, I would recommend ASA. But as far as, far as uh, mechanical properties, they're very similar. Uh, I'll have a link in in the YouTube uh, channel so you guys can actually go and uh, take a look at the spec sheets. But as you can see, the ASA is a little bit darker and for some reason it does come out a little bit smoother. Here I kind of want to showcase, uh, this is basically bringing the same part. This is a no-go gauge, by the way, if you're wondering what part this is. So first I'm going to run this part in ABS uh, and that's a hexagram that I'm choosing uh, and I'm going to show you guys the fill pattern that you can do on ABS. Um, so no, notice the hex, hexagram uh, pattern here and notice the width on, on that pattern, right? Uh, and ABS, this is what the standard is. Um, and on the ASA, uh, I'll show you here in a minute, it's a little bit different. So I'm gonna select ASA um, and I'm gonna show you uh, the hexagram on the ASA. Actually, sorry, I have to cancel and I have to select because this is a solid infill. So let me select this. Here's the hexagram uh, selection for, for ASA. I'm going to run the, the the process. And as you can see, look at the infill pattern, how much wider that grid is, right? So what that does actually is it's going to help you save on uh, material. You use less material to build the same exact part using uh, ASA. So as you can see in here, I'm highlighting the, the usage. Also, the build time is faster. Uh, I'll go back to ABS so I can show you the, the material usage is a little bit higher, and so is the, the build time. Uh, so as you can see here, I'm going to run the same process as I did before. We'll take a look at the estimate, and the time is uh, longer, and there's more material that has been used. So, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Um, Thanks for joining me uh, for another video. Uh, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the, the, the video in regards to the difference between the ABS and ASA. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. You have my email there. Um, you can also go to our website and submit a question on there as well. Thanks. Have a great day.